Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Jeff from Robo Reviews. Today I am bringing you a review on a 10.1 inch tablet that is sold. I'm going to give you the link in the description. Uh, it is sold by Tid Tiana Tid something. Um, anyway, it's a, it's a Chinese seller. So this is one of the Chinese 10 inch tablets that you're gonna find littered all over eBay and you know all over Amazon. And let me just say right off the bat, do not buy this. Do not buy this tablet. Or you know, any tablet that is similar to it that either doesn't have reviews or has very low reviews. So the reason for this being, I'm, I'm gonna go over a couple different things with it to begin with, is this tablet claims to be a Android 6.0 octa core with a 2560 by 1600 screen resolution 4 gigabytes of RAM 64 gigabytes of storage 13 megapixel camera you know what everything you would find in your extremely high-end either phone or tablet now it doesn't contain any of that so again do not buy this tablet. So I'm going to show you. Um, first off, what they did was they included a version of Antutu, which is kind of the, the benchmark tool for devices such as this. And it was kind of a hacked, a you know, it, it falsified the information you'd be getting from it. It, it told me... The tablet was a monster and it had all the specs that it claimed to have. So I went ahead and uninstalled it and tried to install the actual version of N22, but it would not let me because it was said an unsigned version of this software, this application was installed. And no matter what I did, I could not get it off of the tablets in order to let me install it. So I went ahead and used a one that was similar, similar, which is Quadrant Standard. So launching this, I, I can't even get it to run the benchmark, but just going into the system settings, I'm going to go under display. And immediately, if you can see this on this really crappy resolution, you're going to see the resolution is 1280 by 737. It's right there at the top here. So that is a far cry from your 2560 by 1600. And, you know, it, it, I kind of went through the rest of this, and it, it's kind of, they can mask. It, it may actually have the 4 gigabytes of RAM and the 8 cores, but the 8 core CPUs are, you know, they're terrible. You can find those extremely cheap in a lot of Android devices. So it said it was running android 6.0 so i'm gonna go just into settings really quick and you're gonna see this looks extremely familiar to kitkat because it is indeed kitkat now if you go to about tablet it's gonna say android version 6.0 that is not what it is running that is falsified it is fake it said it contained a 64 gigabytes of onboard storage so we're just going to go into a file manager which i like a lot and you go under here if we can i'm going to put it up here hopefully you can see it but it is eight gigabytes is what we currently have on this so again far cry from 64 gigabytes of storage just get in this one more time take a look here yeah 8.94 gigabytes so you're running about nine gigabytes of onboard rom so with that being said it's we've seen them lying a lot off the bat it also claimed to have a metal case on it so if you look on the back here it looks like metal it is anything but metal this is plastic the shell around this is about the cheapest plastic you could probably use on a tablet. The screen is not glass. The screen is plastic. 
So everything about this tablet has been a lie from what they advertise it as. Um, I cannot recommend you against buying this enough. To make matters worse, you know, if you can see it just kind of navigating through here, it is really sluggish. Doesn't feel good, not responsive at all. Half the time, you know, I'm flipping my finger across here and it's not even registering my finger. That That's just wonderful. The If you go to launch any applications like, you know, at Clash of Clans or I just downloaded Bullet Force, which seem to be a you know a highly high graphic game, just it just craps out and dies. I mean, it goes to a black screen, and you try to hold down the volume and power buttons to get this thing to reset. After probably about a minute, it'll go ahead and just reboot because it's just not gonna do it. And the other thing I had mentioned was a 13 megapixel camera, so I went ahead and took a picture. Just you know of my house here and the you're not going to hardly be able to see the quality here but the camera quality was i would say that of a you know five megapixel camera it, it's I, this is just garbage uh and then the, the sound of the speakers when you go to let me see if i can bring up something let's go in here where we can type and you can hear the sound of this bubbling ass It is like even the clicks are just staticky and just awful sounding. I just I couldn't even listen to that. So I'm gonna post you guys a link to this in the description. Again, do not buy this tablet. Do not give these guys any money because they are just trying to pass this off, make a quick buck, and just you know quite literally just steal your money. So links in the description. Don't buy it. And, you know, any of these tablets on eBay and Amazon, read the reviews. If it's got three-star reviews, you're probably getting a very similar piece of garbage to this. On eBay, you know, I just wouldn't even chance it. You know, save yourself some money. Get yourself an Asus. Get yourself a Samsung. Pay the uh, extra bit of money. You know, you get what you pay for. And, you know, if you pay for this, you're getting a turd. So... Anyhow, guys, if you find this review useful, you know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be bringing you more reviews in the future. Um, you know, I always appreciate it. So, anyhow, take care, guys. And again, don't buy this.